Hello there again, YouTube. Happy holidays, as you can see in the background. It is Christmas Day uh, here in the States. However, that being said, to honor uh, my heritage, today we're going to be reviewing some Irish whiskey. Uh, Irish whiskey, personally, is, is my favorite, uh, probably my favorite spirit of, of any out there. And I think just because of the, the temperament of it, the, the mildness of it, the, you know, kind of the, uh, the, the personality in general, how it's a little bit, a little bit easier on the palate, not as, uh, not as powerful as like a scotch would be, for example. Uh, I just find it very agreeable and uh, it's pretty accessible as well. Um, so that being said, what I wanted to do is review five of your more common spirits, um, the Irish whiskeys that you'll see here in the States at least. Um, and what I did was I wanted to review kind of the, the base level whiskey of, of each manufacturer. That being said, I'm actually out of the, uh, the original Jameson. So we're actually going to be reviewing the Jameson 12 year. Everything else that we're going to talk about is, the, like I said, the base level. I do have many, uh, many higher end versions of these. Uh, for instance, Bushmills makes, you know, 10 years, 12 years, 18 year old, 21 year old and up. Tom Ordu makes uh, a 10 year single malt, a 12 year, uh, a Phoenix and uh, a couple other ones. Uh, Kilbagan actually does a, uh, a 12 year and then a, something about a, like a special malt. Um, Powers actually, this is the only thing Powers does. But uh, yeah, those are the five we're going to talk about. Jameson, Bushmill. Tullamore Dew, Kilbegan, and Powers. Um, <clears throat> right off the bat, one of these is my favorite, and hopefully throughout this uh, review, you'll be able to kind of tell what that is. And as always, I will grade you know, each, uh, each whiskey towards the end and uh, let you know my thoughts. But uh, right off the bat, Jameson is, again, probably the most popular. John Jameson started the company, uh, been around quite some time. These are all very, very old companies. Jameson's 1780. Uh, again, this is the, the 12 year. Again, just to give you guys an idea of what the color is on these, this one's a little darker than the other ones just because, like I said, quite frankly, it is a, it is a 12 year. So it has picked up a little bit more of that oakiness that the, these are stored in. Um, most of them are pot stilled. That's kind of a, the signature of, um, of Irish whiskey. They're pot stilled. Um, ages do vary, but there's your color of the Jameson 12 year on the palette. I'm getting that Jameson, just screams Jameson. It's, it's got a little bit more of a peppery, a little bit more of a bite than uh, most Irish whiskeys do. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing, very oaky, kind of smoky a bit, almost a scotch, almost a scotch in its, in its personality. Good whiskey. And what I'm gonna do is, because of some advice that I have received from some of my viewers, and I wanted to give a shout out to one of those individual people, uh, Christopher Peters, actually watching all the way from Canada, um, has given me some pretty good feedback as well as some of you other guys. So I'm trying, I'm trying to do this a little bit more casually today and just kind of talk like, you know, we're at a bar sitting here BSing about, uh, BS about whiskey. So um, Bushmills, this one, very light. Color wise, it's almost like an apple juice. Now, that brings me to my next point. Bushmills says, 1608, Ireland's oldest whiskey distiller. To skip ahead, Kilbegans, established 1757 from the world's oldest distillery. I don't know if my math's wrong, but pretty sure Bushmills is older. But anyways, Kilbegans makes that claim as well. Um, Bushmills on the mouth. It's a bit bitter. It's a bit bitter. The, the baseline Bushmills is, in my opinion, a little bit, uh, a little bit immature, a little bit tart. Not my cup of tea. Cleanse the palate. Next we have Tullamore Dew. Tullamore Dew, again, very old Irish whiskey. Uh, what year do they claim? I think 17 something. 
and they're actually building a uh, new distillery right in Tullamore, uh, Ireland. So that should be uh, that should be a good thing for the uh, for the brand. Uh, the do most people don't know actually stands for Daniel Evan Williams. Uh, it's not do as in you know moisture on grass. So it's actually initials D E W. Color on this guy. Again, pretty light. Kind of has that apple juice thing going again. Really nice legs on this though, for a medium aged Irish whiskey. Yeah, that scream to, uh, scream to tell what we do. Real fruity, lemon zest, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of a uh, little bit of caramel though as well. Uh, good stuff. Price point, these one, two, three, four. You're all looking in that like 20, 20 to $30 range. Very, very affordable, very available in the US in particular. The Jameson 12 year, that one I think is uh, like a 45 or $50 bottle. And like I said, for some reason I don't have any Jameson. So I still wanted to review them, but we did the 12. Yeah, put more do. It's nice. Cleanse the palate, move on to Kill Beckons. And just to let you in to my world a little bit, is I actually just cracked this Kilbaggins. There's your label there. And just cracked the powers for this tasting. So this review will not only be for you, but it will for, be for me as well. Never taste it. Uh, the nose. A bit like a bit like Telemore Duke. I don't think I showed you the color in that one yet. Just color in that guy. Very nice, very nice. Uh, light, almost a little bit of pineapple, but a little bit of floral taste in there as well. It's good. Moving forward, onto Powers. This is Powers Gold Label, established 1791. And this is established by John Power and Son. Color on this one. Very, very similar. That was a bit different. I'm getting a little bit of um, a little bit of leather on that one. Maybe even a bit of uh, give that another taste. A little bit of like almost like an apricot. That one's a little different. I would say of the of the five, this one kind of stands out the most. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's the best in my opinion, but it's the most unique. I would say maybe that of Jameson because that, like I said, that Jameson has that scotch, that peppery, smoky flavor to it. So let's breeze through these and give these number scores so we can move move on. And I will be doing another review where we talk about high-end Irish uh, whiskeys. I'll be breaking out some of the good stuff. Jameson 12 year, I will give that um, six and a half. Uh, good whiskey. All this stuff is really, really good on the rocks, by the way. Uh, this is, again, your most common. You'll see this all over the place, um, as well as obviously your regular Jameson. I'll give that a six and a half. Uh, your Bushmills, I'm going to give that a five. A little too, uh, I don't know, I'm just getting like kitchen cleaning Lysol kind of flavor. Not, not, my, not my favorite. However, if you step up under the Black Bush or the 12 year or the 10 year, much, much better product in my opinion. Tullamore Dew? Man, tell you what, I'm a big fan of Tullamore Dew. Uh, big reveal, that, that's my favorite of the five here in my, in, in my eyes. I give that uh, seven and a half. Really nice, very affordable. Very agreeable, good meat, good on the rocks. Can't go wrong in that one. Kilbegan, I'll give that a six as well. Um, very approachable flavor, but at the same time, it's not uh, it's not dull by any means. And then Powers, I tell you what, I'll give Powers a like six and a half, seven. 
uh, nice, very different. Again, kind of the most unique of the bunch. Um, these two are a little bit harder to find than these three. Um, but if you get your hands on one and you're a, an Irish whiskey aficionado, I wouldn't hesitate. Again, the price is very good on all of them, so, uh, so why not? Uh, so that's it for today, Irish Whiskey 101. Um, again, if you, uh, if you were looking to get into whiskey, I'd say Canadian, which we, we've done a lot of reviews for already, and Irish are kind of those good stepping points to, to get into the line and uh, not be quite as overpowered as you may with uh, bourbons or scotches or things like that. So thank you all very much again. Happy holidays, and we'll talk soon.